There's no one great among us We are nothing on our own We make mistakes and often slip Just come and flesh and bones But I'll prove someday for that wonderful song with the message in the music. There is no place like this place. There is no place that look like this place. There is no place near this place. Therefore, this is got to be the place. And this evening we are so happy, along with my entourage, to travel from Kingston to share with you in the gospel of salvation. And it's such a wonderful thing to see all my family members here this afternoon and to see all the families feeling happy and healthy in the Lord. This afternoon I want you to know that I am traveling also with my big sister. So, if you plan to trouble me, you can't trouble me. My big sister is here with me. Give them a wave from over there, from the Meadowvale Seventh-day Adventist Church. But I am happy to be here this afternoon and to see all my family members and to greet the community of Botani Bay. God has been good, beloved friends. And we want to give God thanks for his protecting care over us as we stand here this afternoon to share the gospel. This afternoon, 
My subject is the land of no regrets. The land of no regrets. My passage of scripture comes from St. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. And the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare that place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. Beloved friends, we who are called to serve the God man Jesus Christ, we find ourselves living in an age of conflicts, confusion, and confrontation. Yes. We find ourselves living in a grand and awful time. Many individuals are worried about what is going to happen next. But I want you to know today, beloved friends, that we serve a God who is bigger than all of these things that are happening, beloved friends. Yes, According to Psalm 91, Psalm 91 says, when they are connected to Jesus Christ, the Lord is not going to allow any pestilences to come upon you. And so this afternoon, I am here to let you and to tell you, don't be afraid because we serve a big God and his name is Jesus. People talking about COVID-19, but the name Jesus also starts with C. His name is Christ. There is no one like him. I want you to know today, beloved friends, there's a land of no regrets. Someone says, even when you are at home, everywhere you sit, you are always looking at something to fix on the home. But today I want to introduce you to the place that the Lord is preparing for you and me, beloved friends. There'll be no rent payment there. There'll be no light bills there. There'll be no phone bills there. There'll be no water bills there, beloved friends. Because that place is going to be a perfect place, beloved friends. When Jesus comes, what a day that is going to be. When my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face. The one who saves me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and lead me to that promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. I want you to know, beloved friends, that too many years ago, Jesus told his disciples as he was making plans to go back to heaven to intercede on our behalf. Where is Jesus now? He is interceding on our behalf. Are you with me, beloved friends? So Jesus is praying for us right now as we speak. Yeah. St. Matthew 24, 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness and then shall the end come. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news about Jesus. I want you to know that it is a specific gospel. The means one. This gospel means one. That means it's one gospel. The everlasting gospel. If you go to the book of Revelation chapter 14. Yes, beloved friends. You will see the three angels message over there. That is the gospel that the Bible is talking about. The first verse, the first angel says, 
fear God and keep his word. Come on, men. For the hour of his judgment has come. So judgment has become, has come. But judgment day is coming. And he that is filthy will remain filthy. So beloved friends, get your house in order right now. Light a candle, sing a song, come home to Jesus before it is too late.